Oh! Wow, this is a gut punch. Where are you? We've got some work to do now. Scooby-Dooby-Doo, I see you. Okay, I forgot the lyrics, maybe. Just kidding, but... Good morning, gang. Welcome back to my channel. This is Pandemic Paul here. Little Light is next to me working on his homework. But since he's not such a crazed fan like I am, I'm going to be doing this video solo. Um, in case you didn't know, I'm probably the biggest Scooby-Doo fan on the planet. That's probably a lie, but I, I've i been obsessed with Scooby-Doo since I was a kid. You know, the gang's all hair. I used to collect the movies and the TV shows. I owned pretty much everything you saw in the intro to this video. So I thought today is a fun little way to celebrate the opening of the new film, which is now available everywhere to rent or buy on pretty much every streaming platform, which I recommend. If you haven't already, go check out our review. We posted it yesterday, so we have a video for that somewhere. Go click on it, subscribe. Also, if you haven't already, for now. Yes, we, well, I picked the 20 most memorable Scooby-Doo films for me at this current time. I've watched Scooby-Doo for 50 years now. Isn't that crazy? I mean, not me personally, but I have watched 50 years worth of <laughs> Scooby-Doo incarnations and, uh, what a better way to celebrate, but with a new film and uh, by ranking my top, my top Scooby-Doo film. So let's jump right in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna I'm gonna choose two and then I'm gonna like compare how I'm feeling and maybe talk about them and then we'll we'll pick which one is gonna stay in the running okay oh wow this is a gut punch <sighs> Scooby-Doo and the alien invaders or Scooby-Doo 2 yes the live-action one <sighs> well Scooby-Doo and the alien invaders is a classic. It was one of the four released when they brought Scooby-Doo over to the Warner Brothers Animation Studio, and it was part of the release series that goes along with Zombie Island and Witch's Ghost. It's one of my favorites. It has a lot of hippie fun elements, Area 51, so if you're into that kind of stuff, go check out that film. But then there's Scooby-Doo 2, which is like my favorite of the two live action films. The first one's really great, but the second one has more of the iconic monsters and I feel like they get the, the struggle of filming outside. They get the cartoony vibe more in the second one. The first one was originally written as a rated R adult stoner comedy and you can still see the remnants of it in the film and I love it. The second live action film just like dives more deep into the Scooby-Doo mythology. But if I had to pick, oh, uh, no, Scooby-Doo 2. Scooby-Doo 2 wins. So, sorry, Alien Invaders. That's a classic, and I would recommend it. Out of the animated ones, that's one of the best ones. But, oh, well, this one's pretty obvious. Not really, but Scooby-Doo and Cyber Chase. We just watched this the other day. Um, it was also part of that four release, with Zombie Island, Witch's Ghost, and Alien Invaders. But the other one we have right now... Scooby-Doo and the Boo Brothers! Scooby-Doo and the Boo Brothers! Now I know all y'all grew up watching this one, and it's a classic. It's the one where Scooby and Shaggy go investigate this, like, haunted house. I don't even know, but anyway, the Boo Brothers are there, and they're sort of like these, like, annoying ghosts, and it turns into, like, a Ghostbusters-type film with Scooby and Shaggy, almost. I guess I'll have to go with that one because cyber chase when we rewatched it i liked it but and i love the ending when you get to see like different incarnations of scooby-doo which is 
what I'm trying to provide for you here today. It's cool to see like the animation styles change over the decades. I mean, it reflects the contemporary artistic stylings of animation as well as what's popular in pop culture. Regardless, we're going with the classic Scooby-Doo and the Boo Brothers. I just remember it fondly from my childhood memories. So that's what we're going with this one. Next two, next two, not three, two. Wow, neither of these are particularly amazing. Aloha Scooby-Doo. I barely remember this one other than like there's a surfing tiki guy going on. And then um, Scooby-Doo and Where's My Mummy. I actually really like this one. The ending feels weird, but I'm gonna go with Scooby-Doo and Where's My Mummy. Mummy. I feel like over time, you could say it's like been a cop out by just like choosing cultures and things and different places to visit and maybe stealing from it. But I feel like it's what as white <laughs> as Scooby-Doo is like the whole cast until the newest incarnation of Scoob. It's an all white gang, <laughs> literally. I feel like as a series progressed, they were able to bring in visiting other places without making it offensive but hopefully that's not just my opinion as a white guy but it, it was cool to like be able to visit other countries and visit it through a cartoon and learn about different cultures and people yeah i think that was really cool okay the next two Ooh, scooby-doo music of the vampire the first and i think only ever scooby-doo musical we watched it. I still like it. Or Scooby-Doo and Pirates Ahoy. Pirates Ahoy was one of the first ones that made me laugh in a long time. You know, Scooby-Doo used to make you laugh and like you used to be in the mystery. And then after a certain time period, the feels like the films became so formulaic, which of course Scooby-Doo is, but there wasn't anything new added to it. I believe it was the 90s ones, the four the uh, zombie island, which is ghosts, alien invaders, cyber chase, they all involved supernatural events, which changed the game because before that, Scooby-Doo was always unmasking a human villain. So in that sense, I think Pirates Ahoy brought back that mystery and adventure. And even though I love a good musical, and even though they surprisingly sing well with their auto-tune, it was just like, we're really having Fred and Daphne and Velma and Shaggy sing. Like, that really happened. Anyway, go, go watch it, Music of the Vampire. I'm gonna go with Pirates Ahoy because it's way more fun. <laughs> okay. Well, not even... We're not even gonna barely talk about these. Legend of the Phantasaur. Barely remember it, but they make fun of some rednecks, which we always enjoy. Um, and then... <laughs> Camp Scare! was actually really scary when I watched it. So it's one of the newer ones. Phantasaur is also new. In fact, it might be newer. But Camp Scare is really good. I would recommend it. Which one's gonna be next? Oh, I just kind of looked, so I gotta mix it up. If you guys have ones I don't mention in this video that are your favorites, go ahead and comment below. I've probably seen them. I'll be happy to talk about them or include them in another video, but these are just like the top 20 out of like the 30 to 40, if not more films. Um, I looked at several lists and I've collected them throughout my, my lifetime. So these are just the ones I remember the most fondly again. So if you have more or if you disagree with me, go ahead and comment below and I'd love to chat with you about these Scooby-Doo movies. It's my entire life. <laughs> oh my gosh. Scooby-Doo and Frank and Creepy. That one was weird as hell. It was like really meta. I don't even know. It was just weird, but I kind of liked it because it was so weird. And then Scooby-Doo featuring Kiss, the rock and roll mystery. This one, this one's iconic. I haven't seen it since it first came out, but they go to, well, maybe it's a spoiler. Also, spoiler, there's going to be spoilers in this video. Because if you haven't watched Scooby-Doo at this point, what are you doing with your dang life? PG, I forgot. This might be for kids. But I'm going to go with... Frank and Creepy is definitely worth a watch. 
because it's so different from the other Scooby-Doo films. But the kiss one, <laughs> until you see it, it's a whole journey. There's 20 journeys in this film. Okay, we're getting down. I did 20 again, right? So I think we're about halfway through, if not more. So hold in there. Hopefully you're finding this entertaining. And if you are, like this video, share it. Maybe with a Scooby-Doo fan. I already saw one of them, and I know I'm going to pick it. Because there's no way this one would beat it. There's no way. Well, gosh, darn it. Well, gosh, darn it. Did I really pick these two together? <sighs> okay. Um, <clears throat> the original live action Scooby-Doo or Scooby-Doo and the Witch's Ghost, which we all know is the best one. Never forget the Hex Girls. Never, never. Never, and I can't wait. I think they were gonna put the Hex Girls in like Scooby-Doo 3. They messed that up because live action Hex Girls, that would have been hot. <laughs> okay, well I love the live action Scooby-Doo and the casting, impeccable, Sarah Michelle Gellar. You could play Daphne when you're 80 and I would still accept it because you are a star. Also, uh, the whole cast, actually. Linda Cardinelli, all of you. Matthew Lillard, Freddie Prince Jr. If you guys all want to come back for Scooby-Doo 3, I'll write a script. I'll direct it. I'll do it. I'll take care of it. <clears throat> but we're going to go with Witch's Ghost because nothing. Nothing, nothing. Nothing. not even going to talk about this one. Samurai Sword, don't watch it. I saw it once. Forgettable. Easy. We're not even going to talk about this one. Samurai Sword, don't watch it. I saw it once. Forgettable. The Ghoul School is a classic one. And, again, different than some of your... Okay, again, kind of easy. Scooby-Doo. Weird one where they... Scooby-Doo and the Goblin King. It's like the... F weird one where they go to, like, some fairy hell. And it's mostly just Scooby and Shaggy. Dumb. Scottish accent. So we're going with Loch Ness Monster. And Loch Ness Monster is just iconic. So there you go. Goblin King, who is this? Come here, love me. <laughs> Matt Spoken, good looking. Love to party and have fun. I don't think we're done blowing shit up today. I don't care who you are. <laughs> Nobody cares. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. Because this is like the beginning of my fascination with Scooby-Doo versus like the first one that really broke out during my childhood. Scooby-Doo and the Reluctant Werewolf. It's the one where Scooby and Shaggy got the drive-in and turns Shaggy into a werewolf. And they go on that racing adventure. It's so good. And I kind of want to watch it right now. But then there's literally the classic. So good that they made a sequel that I haven't watched yet, but I've heard is absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. My mouth is getting dry. Sorry about this. I'm going to have to drink some water. Pause. I guess this is a hard one, too. <laughs> Zombie. No, because I mean, really? Ugh. Zombie Island. I can't even look back because if I do, I'll be I'll start crying a little bit. Both of these are weak. Like if I would have had these in the last one, it would have been an easy choice. Scooby Doo and WrestleMania. That happened, and then they made a sequel just so like. Why not? There's <laughs> Scooby Doo and Abracadabra Doo. Vaguely remember this one. I remember there was a trap door involved and I love a good trap door. So I don't even know what that means, but it happened. Um, 
Both can just go in the trash? No, I can't do that. <laughs> WrestleMania, only because neither of them deserve it. <laughs> but there you go. I put in a couple, like, basic ones because I had to get to 20. Not had to, but... Um... Scooby-Doo and the Legend of the Vampire or Chill Out Scooby-Doo? We're going to go with Legend of the Vampire. It's when the Hex Girls make their return at the festival in Australia, I believe. And Chill Out Scooby-Doo is just like another one with a snow monster. So like, whatever, right? Hex Girls, round two? Always down. Also, why isn't there a Witch's Ghost 2? If y'all are ready for Zombie Island 2... Which is Ghost 2? Hex Girls? Maybe a Hex Girls solo movie? If we're expanding the universe? Did you know that the new Scoob movie, which I believe is actually going to be part of this last roundup, it's supposed to be the first film in a new Avengers type series for the Hanna Barbera characters. And they even included, like, I saw a Johnny Quest poster and a Hex Girls poster in the new Scoob film. Go check them out. Let me know in the comments below if you found them. They're fun little Easter eggs. But I'm excited to see either a sequel to Scoob or or an expanding universe of characters. That could be super fun. And this is an easy choice. Monster of Mexico is one I watched when I was younger. And El Chupacabra, I believe, is the monster. It's a fun one. It's cute. But like Scoob, I really liked the new one. The animation had such beautiful textures. It was fun to hear new voices, even though I love the classic ones, and I know some of them have been upset on Twitter about the whole recasting, and I'm standing their work forever, and I hope they, they continue to do the television series. But for the films, it's kind of fun to see something new. No? Okay. I just want to love everybody, so... Anyway, <clears throat> that was our first round. So just hold on to your seats, everybody. I know you're very excited to see what my favorite Scooby-Doo film is. Maybe. You should be. If you ask me a Scooby-Doo question, I bet you I know the answer. But I own all of them. If you ever need to borrow a Scooby-Doo series or a film, I got it. I got it. Scooby-Doo meets the Boo Brothers or Camp Scare. I'm gonna go off, off personal preference at this point. Camp Scare, it was super fun. <gasps> I already see my favorite. Oh, Witch's Ghost or Loch Ness Monster? Witch's Ghost, clearly. Ooh, Kiss, Rock and Roll Mystery, or Scooby-Doo 2? We're going with Scooby-Doo 2. Um, just because as great and as fascinating as that Kiss adventure is, Scooby-Doo 2 is it. Okay, Scoob or... <laughs> Zombie Island. I think I have to choose Zombie Island, actually. <sighs> Scoob is cute. Don't get me wrong. 10 out of 10, recommend it. Go watch it, but we're going with Zombie Island. There, everybody knows Zombie Island. That's what everybody knows of Scooby-Doo. And that's, that's facts on facts. If you haven't seen Zombie Island, you're messing up your life. Your life choices are poor. Oh, Scooby-Doo and Where's My Mummy? Or Scooby-Doo and Pirates Ahoy? I think I enjoy Pirates Ahoy better than Where's My Mummy, so. And that's just from like the last time I saw it 10 years ago. Scooby-Doo WrestleMania or Ghoul School? Since I already told you WrestleMania is kind of random and trash, <laughs> if we're just being honest. Ghoul school it is! Okay, we're down to the top six. It's getting wild up in here. Oh, did we like leave out vampire somehow? Well, that one's out. That one's that one with the hex girls. It got vetoed out. I think it's because I messed up one round. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're we're gonna push on. We're gonna push on. Zombie Island or Pirates Ahoy. Zombie Island. But I still recommend Pirates Ahoy if you need a good laugh, which we all do right now. Hope you all are surviving quarantine well. And Scooby-Doo, I, I truly believe like any cartoon 
that reminds you of childhood or brings you back to that nostalgic feeling is a great thing right now because we all need something that reminds us of what it's like to be a child that hope and that dreamlike quality because we can be really stuck in the reality of right now and that's not a good place to be but hopefully scooby-doo and other things that brighten your day and your mood are in your everyday playlist because you you truly deserve joy even during this pandemic and that's just from pandemic paul okay i'm not a licensed therapist but if i was my recommendation would be watch some scooby-doo okay scooby-doo 2 or camp scare scooby-doo 2 last two and then we're down to the top three which is gonna be weird we're gonna do like a three trifecta which is ghost or ghoul school which is ghost we already said this wow well we came down to the top three which we already knew it would be these three we already knew i didn't even have to do whatever i just did <laughs> to tell you <laughs> these were the top three scooby-doo movies i would have maybe included scoob as a runner-up scooby-doo 2 scooby-doo and the witch's ghost and scooby-doo on zombie island If I was a kid again and I could go watch Scooby-Doo for the first time, which one would I want to watch? I, th I think Witch's Ghost. We're going to go with Scooby-Doo and the Witch's Ghost. Just because Zombie Island was actually slightly terrifying, so is Witch's Ghost. But Scooby-Doo 2, I feel like you have to be a fan of Scooby-Doo to get a lot of the humor. And although the fart gags are probably really great for ch children and witch's ghost feels like a true scooby-doo classic it feels like a true scooby-doo mystery adventure and it's just it's the best scooby-doo movie zombie island gets a close second and then of course scooby-doo 2 gets honorable mentions as well as the new scoob out now go watch go have yourself a wonderful wednesday and until next time I'm Pandemic Paul, and thank you so much for watching, and subscribe!